Welcome back to Fox and Friends. A new health scare overnight for migrants poor, uh, pushing toward the United States. Three ambulance were, ambulances were called to a shelter in Mexico within a short period of time. This is the White House demands more than $4 billion to handle the border crisis from Congress. Griff Jenkins is live in Mexico with the latest for us. Griff, do we know why the ambulances were called in? You know, good morning, Ainsley, Brian, and Steve. We don't know. Actually, you see a shift change of some folks going in here, but a very busy morning with those ambulances. Let me just tell you what's going on with the health scare. In the Mexican press, there were rumors of Ebola breaking out amongst the migrant caravan, in particular, possibly in this facility. Mexican officials saying there had been no cases of Ebola, but confirming cases of measles, of syphilis, and some other things and diseases we have seen associated with this caravan. But it's adding to this great growing frustration amongst Mexican residents from the continued car caravans. We spoke to one man about 45 miles north of here in the town of Huitzla, uh, Robert Espinoza. Here's what he had to say. They probably feel frustrated because having all these people coming over to our country, I mean, especially over here because they, they're having a hard time, you know, and then people coming over. I'm not saying they're taking our, our bread from us, but I mean, they start robbing people. Another woman, a pharmacist, telling us she would like a wall built on Mexico's southern border. A uh, lawmaker, a senator in Mexico, calling for sanitation fences on the north and south. But those ambulances that were coming earlier, we haven't seen that in the few days we've been here. One source came out and told us it was because people were injured in yet another attempt for migrants to break out. But we did see yesterday outside here a very sick man, a Haitian man that was amongst the Haitian population that couldn't get in. He was lying on the ground just feet from where I'm standing, people trying to give him water, the officials inside not coming out to give him aid. Finally, they put him in a taxi to go to a nearby hospital. We don't know the condition of him. All of this coming as on our northern border near Yuma, Arizona. CBP Border Patrol agents apprehending more than 700 in a one-day haul on Tuesday. You can see them crossing through the surveillance video, as we've seen all over uh, the U.S. border. Now, the uh, Trump administration calling for more money, uh, believed to be four and a half billion, not for a wall, but for more shelters, more sanitation, more operational things, because the problem continues, the flow continues. We're waiting, guys, for the NMI, the migration officials here in Mexico, to give us a little firmer word on both the health situation inside this main shelter, as well as reports of another escape. It would be the third in about a week. A lot going on down there in Tapachula, Mexico at 520 in the morning.